Today, the Justice Department opened a special counsel investigation into President Biden's son, Hunter. Now, the Delaware U.S. attorney who has been investigating Hunter Biden since 2018, he had been ready as of last month to offer Hunter Biden a plea deal that would let him avoid jail time for tax and firearm charges. But that plea deal fell apart at the last minute. And today, Attorney General Merrick Garland announced that that same U.S. attorney has now asked to be appointed as a special counsel so as to continue investigating this case. We do not know what that investigation will yield. And so far, there is no evidence that the president himself was involved in any of the, his son's allegedly shady deals. But if there is one thing we do know, it is that scandals involving the family members of sitting presidents is not a new phenomenon. Remember Donald Nixon, the brother of President Nixon, who is known for trying to make money off his brother's presidency. As Politico magazine pointed out in 2015, Richard Nixon was so worried about his younger brother Donald's willingness to trade the family name for business favors that early in his presidency, he had the Secret Service put a tail on him and tap his phone, which is an amazingly Nixonian way to deal with your shady brother. There was Billy Carter, the colorful, beer-swilling brother of Jimmy Carter, who created an enormous headache for his brother's administration when he got taking money from the government of Libya. The shadow of Billy Carter's dealings with the government of Libya fell across his brother's White House again today. In a news conference in New York this morning, the president's brother made it plain he was not happy about the statement made by the president yesterday. I don't agree, Billy Carter said, that it was inappropriate for me to act on behalf of a foreign government. He wasn't my brother. I wouldn't be going through this this morning and yesterday. <laughs> As I've said earlier, you can choose your friends, but you damn sure can't choose your kinfolks. A Senate committee investigated and found no evidence that Billy Carter had influenced American policy. Then there was Neil Bush, the son of George H.W. Bush and brother to George and Jeb. During his father's administration, Neil Bush wound up getting sued by federal regulators for his alleged role in a banking scandal. The president's son, Neil, must explain at a public hearing why he approved $45 million in loans for a business partner. I've got nothing to hide. I've cooperated fully. We'll continue to do so. And uh, my view is the sooner the better. Neil Bush eventually settled that case out of court. And then there were the Clinton siblings, Bill's brother Roger Clinton and Hillary's brother Hugh Rodham, both of whom got caught in alleged pay-to-play scandals during the Clinton administration. Roger Clinton was investigated by Congress, but he was never charged. More accusations this morning against the former president's brother, Roger Clinton, in the scandal surrounding his last-minute pardons. The New York Times reports Roger Clinton and his business partners are accused of promising a Texas businessman diplomatic passports in exchange for $30,000. Only yesterday, Hillary Clinton tried to distance herself from the scandal swirling around her husband and her brother Hugh, who received $400,000 to get clemency for two wealthy felons. Rodham has returned the money and says he did nothing wrong. Today, NBC's Kerry Sanders caught up with him in a Florida bar. Can I just talk this to you? This is a place of business. No, please. Well, there's a lot of people have questions. I don't care about that. I made my statement. That's all I'm saying. And then there is the family of the 45th president, Donald Trump, whose daughter, Ivanka, had 18 trademarks granted to her by the government of China while she was working as an advisor to her father. And Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, who got a staggering $2 billion investment from the government of Saudi Arabia after his father-in-law made him a key negotiator in that region. Where the Hunter Biden saga will fit into the history of presidential dramas very much remains to be seen. But so far, Hunter Biden is the only member of a president's extended family to get his own special counsel investigation.